Good morning from a very chilly Wyoming. Bob Dylan once said, he not busy being born, is busy dying. What's that got to do with wood turning? Well, I've always felt that if you're not changing and improving, you're kind of standing still. Since I uploaded a couple videos on turquoise, and one of them was on processing turquoise, crushing it and grading it, uh, I had a comment from somebody with a very good idea using PVC pipe and crushing it inside that pipe. And what I did, I went to a hardware store and I got a length of galvanized pipe with a, a cap on the very end of that. And I'm going to show you just how much better that is for crushing turquoise. I got one of my little turquoise necklaces and got a few of those. pieces. I'm going to put them inside my pipe, which really contains that turquoise very nicely. And I've got a threaded rod here. It's kind of a basher. So I'm going to put that in there. And at first I was just kind of bashing it like that. Well, that's a little tough on your hands. So I thought, well, I'm going to just take a hammer and smash that turquoise. Now when you do this, you don't crush everything uniformly, so the next step that I do is I just take that and I put it in this strainer. And I'm going to just sift a little bit of that, and what I'm getting here is the second grade of my turquoise. This is a little bit bigger chunks, so I'm going to take that again and put it back into my pipe. Put that once more into my strainer, and pretty simple process. This is what I did this morning with some of that uh, turquoise jewelry, and I keep sifting that. And if you can see in the bottom of my bowl here, I've got some, some nice turquoise bits, and I've got a lot of powder in there. So the last thing I'm going to do with this powder is I'm going to take a paint strainer. And this is a paint strainer you can get at the hardware store. It's uh, something you put around a can and pour your paint through it. And it's a very good um, size. And I'll put my, I'll put my uh, turquoise in this strainer. Start sifting the powder. And if you can see that dust coming off there, this powder works really well if you're uh, filling very, very fine cracks and fissures in your bowl or your project. And that's it. This could be my elusive short video. So thanks again for tuning in and um, keep on moving forward. Thanks a lot.